by a quick start and ride it out to a 123-102 win over the Oklahoma City Thunder in downtown Chicago at the United Center. Let's check in with Kenrich Williams, who just sat down with the media a couple moments ago. Hey, Kenrich, you guys went on a pretty big run there um, in the second quarter to uh, kind of erase a really, really big deficit. What went into that and what allowed you guys to kind of get on that run, that 22-3 run to, to close that gap there? Uh, just playing hard and playing together. Um, you know, that's what that's what the emphasis is every game. Um, you know, we just want to be consistent with our effort and uh, you know, playing the whole 48 minutes. <clears throat> so uh, you know, that's that's what uh, pretty much what it was. Gary Trammell, the Oklahoman. Yeah, Kenrich. You know, a guy like you that's trying to get his footing in the league. When you play the way you've played, um, so consistent, so hard, and so productive this season, does that give you confidence that this is going to be a grind and you're going to establish establish yourself as a player in this league? Uh, yeah, definitely. <clears throat> um, you know, I think whenever you get the opportunity, uh, you know, like I have, you have to take advantage of it. And you know, I put in some good work. Uh, to my whole NBA career. Um, so, you know, this is definitely just, you know, it feels good to have an opportunity like this. But, um, I mean, the main thing that I want to be known for is kind of a winning player. You know, I want to win games first. And, you know, I feel like if I'm not doing that, if we're not doing that as a team, then, you know, nothing else really matters. <clears throat> Nick Gallo, Thunder Broadcasting. Kenrich, I imagine you've played with guys with size like Moses Brown, but what what's unique about him as a player besides the size, and what's it been like for you as a team to see him make some really nice strides? Oh, man. Yeah, of course, Mo is, is, a, is a big, big dude. He's seven foot two, uh, great size. But I think the one thing that Mo... Uh, does well uh, for being his age and you know not having a lot of experience is he listens you know he listens to, to the players to you know he listens to the coaches and he takes that advice and he uses it in the game and that's the biggest you know takeaway for any player you know like Mo who's trying to <clears throat> get established in the league is just being able to be coachable and being able to listen to players and coaches. Daniel Bell, Black Sports Online. Hey, Kendrick, you're uh, one of the older guys that's been playing recently with the younger lineups you guys have had. Have you had to take on more of a leadership role on the court? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Uh, I feel like I kind of take the leadership role, like, during training camp, you know. Um, I'm not the oldest guy on the team, but I'm definitely, I think I'm top five oldest, so uh, I'm definitely always trying to give out advice and just trying to, you know, give people, you know, experiences that I've been through in the league and just trying to help, you know, younger younger guys, the younger guys out. Um, yeah. Yeah. 